Okay, pop quiz. Would you rather be bald or have a small penis? If you're bald and have a small penis, you're probably worried right now about what I'm going to say. Hey, it's Alex, and I am here with another uh, video for the motion in your ocean uh, for any size ship to uh, improve your performance bed regardless of your size. And uh, today we're gonna talk about the results of my gigantic survey of women. You asked the questions uh, and I presented them to the women. And I gotta say, the questions were very interesting. Some of the things that you guys presented were not things I would have thought of. And uh, I think we've got maybe some of the best research on this subject that has ever been done anywhere. So uh, I wanna tell you about some of it. First of all, how important is size? Is size really important to women in the bedroom? And uh, there's good news and bad news here. The bad news, if you feel like you're not big enough, is that 65% of women thought that size was really an important issue in uh, sexual satisfaction for them. Uh, though some of them said it was you know, only marginally important, but 65% said it was important. Only 5%, however, said it was a really critical factor and quite a few of them said that it didn't make any difference at all. One of the things that a lot of men asked me to ask, which kind of surprised me, was ask them, have you ever broken up with a man because he had a small penis? And the answer is yes, 20%. One in five women said that at some time in the past, they'd actually broken up with a man because his penis was too small. However, 20% uh, of them also said, because I asked the question in reverse, ex almost exactly the same number, slightly less, 17% of them said that they had broken up with a man because his penis was too large. So again, about one in five. Interesting. But let's lay it out for you. Let's uh, figure out just how important this penis issue is. I specifically asked the women, as was suggested by my readers, uh, to rank how important penis size was compared to other factors. So. Um, I listed a bunch of factors. Baldness was one of them. Uh, things like, you know, a man with a great ass or broad shoulders or he was tender and sweet or a guy who was sexually skilled and knows what he's doing. Uh, and of course, penis size was in there. All in all, it was about 15 factors and uh, I will give them to you in order. But spoiler alert, penis size came in dead last. Here they are in order. Um, Passionate, the number one quality that women are looking for and say is the most important in a sexual relationship with a man. Passionate, sexually confident, emotionally open, great smile, crushed it with great smile. Man who knows what he wants, a man who's tender and sweet. Masculine, I didn't say anything in particular about it other than just masculine. Oh, sexually skilled was right after masculine and uh, that's when they begin to start dropping off romantic, powerful, broad shoulders, Athletic body, great ass, tall, so uh, not much to worry about short guys, beautiful face, great hair, bald guys, and uh, penis size dead last. Turns out great hair and penis size were the least important things to women. So uh, whether you're bald or whether you have a small penis, those are two of the less important qualities in being great in bed, according to these women, even though 65% of them said that it was important. Okay, moving on. Have you ever uh, dated a girl or chosen one girl over another because she just had a great rack? Well, guess what? One in 10 women said that they chose to date one man over another because he had a great penis. How small is small? This is a pretty good question. Uh, and it turns out that 60% uh, of women say, 60%, so most women say that under four inches is what they consider small. And 10% uh, said, it just doesn't matter at all. And of course, I asked the question in reverse, how big is too big? 15% said, doesn't matter at all. And only 2% said, there is no such thing as too big, bring it on. 50%, however, said over eight inches, too big, scary, back it off, pal. Uh, and then of course, what is the perfect size? The perfect size penis, just for me. I asked the women to uh, rate this very personally, not what they think other women would think. And uh, the big winner was six inches. Interesting, because 5.88 inches is the average. So it turns out women actually do like the average cock. Uh, most of them said width was more important than length. But uh, here's the landslide, here's the big one. 
Hardness beats size. In other words, how hard his penis is versus how big it is wins by a landslide, a, a full 95% of women, 94 point something, uh, said that hardness was a much more important factor to them than size. And uh, also lasting longer wins by size by a, a really large margin. 90% of the women said it's more important that he can last long enough to satisfy them than that it's of any particular size. And uh, can great oral and finger skills compensate for a small penis? Well, about half of these women say yes. Several of you asked me to ask women do they prefer a big penis for oral sex? And uh, that turns out to be 85% no. 10% of women specifically said, yes, a big penis is more fun when they're giving a blowjob. And 10% said, no, I prefer a man with a small penis when giving a blowjob. 80% of women don't care what it looks like when it's flaccid. Just, you know, interested in what's uh, going on once you're hard. This was, uh, this was an evil question that uh, several men asked me to ask. <laughs> Do you, uh, do you ever wish that your current lover, and I asked this question, you ever wish your current lover or the last man you dated, have you ever wished that he was bigger? 23% said yes. Another evil question, uh, have you ever lied to a man about the size of your penis? 32%, one in three, said yes in fact. When a man asked them if their penis was uh, big enough, they flat out lied. That kind of begs the question, I think, once you hear some of this data, and I do have uh, actually more stuff that I want to share with you, but it does beg the question, if, uh, if women are putting penis size dead last, why do 65% of women say that it's still important? Why are women breaking up with men over penis size or choosing a man because of penis size? And the answer seems to be, as I've been digging deeper and deeper into this data, uh, that it is not just about the size, that a small penis may feel okay, but there are all these other psychological factors that go with it, and there is just nothing more annoying to a woman than a man who's insecure about his penis size and is constantly trying to overcompensate for it. In case study after case study, women say that the psychological, emotional factors uh, of men with a smaller penis wanting to please them, trying to overcompensate to please them, is the problem. It's not the way it feels so much as the way it makes you feel and the way it makes you act. What made, in my case studies, these couple of guys with really small penises just rock women's world, make them obsess over them for years and years afterwards? Well, it was one very specific thing. Uh, I'm gonna talk more about that. The most important thing for you to get right now is that the way to fix this is not to overcorrect and make it all about yourself, uh, but the, the thing that women really want is not that you're focusing so hard on pleasing them, but that you're focusing so hard on getting pleasure from them, from them specifically, and, and you being turned on by them is what turns on women more than almost anything else, and getting out of your head about your penis and getting your head rather wrapped up in them, their body, what they're doing, uh, how good they feel, how good they look, how good they taste. This is the trick. Uh, I'm going to talk a lot more about this, all the things that you can do to uh, rock a woman's world and make her really feel like you are huge in more ways than one. This is Alex Allman. I'll talk to you again very soon.